just like to start again by thanking uh, Deb Wilcox, Trevor Danos uh, for the opportunity to be here this afternoon, Laurent, friends, colleagues. So I'm here in my role as the chair of the Institute of Bone and Joint Research to tell you about what we as a group uh, are doing to help with the burden of musculoskeletal diseases that, that Lynn has just outlined. Um, we are celebrating research and innovation. Um, really just to re-emphasize a lot of what Lynn has already explained to you, this, these are incredibly prevalent, disabling and costly conditions. Uh, these are the leading causes of disability in our community. And when you think about the cost to our healthcare system, which I'm sure is front and center uh, for many discussions for Deb and Trevor, uh, these are incredibly expensive, both in terms of direct cost, but also in terms of the indirect cost that, that Lynn was referring to in terms of the impact this has on particularly employment. Um, at this hospital um, and at this research institute, we have a lot of great work going on that's led by various groups, including uh, wonderful groups in physiotherapy, rheumatology, orthopedics, spinal and hand. As this is a living laboratory and as a clinician scientist, I'm really proud to stand here and say that we are delivering on healthcare that's de developed from the research that we carry out. Um, so we've uh, got uh, world-leading uh, programs that centre around osteoarthritis management that uh, Matt Williams will tell you about a little bit later on. Uh, Lynn, uh, Rory, Clifton, Bly run an osteoporosis refractory prevention program, which again is fantastic as far as delivering on care, but again evolving from wonderful work, work that's been done. We have specialist uh, clinics around biologics, vasculitis, uh, rapid access connective tissue diseases amongst others. And it's also a wonderful training centre, so both for physiotherapists and other allied health, uh, nursing, uh, medical professionals, a large number of people are trained here and hopefully walk away from here with great knowledge as far as care for musculoskeletal disease is concerned. And that is not always the case, depending upon what hospital you work at. Um, so who are we and what do we do? So I think it's critical to understand that Obviously, a large focus this afternoon will be on patient care, and that's really appropriate because there's a lot of patients here. But as a living laboratory, we're here about translating the wonderful work uh, that Chris Little and others do in the laboratory into clinical research, and then hopefully developing that into clinical practice and revolving that back through so that we learn from the clinical space and inform what we do in the basic science space. Um, Lynn has already told you about A3BC, and uh, Lynn and Chris and others and Mei Ling will tell you a little bit more about that later on. Chris Little will tell you all about a little bit of the work that he does, and he's a world-leading preclinical researcher uh, in osteoarthritis. Um, Liz Clark, a wonderful biomechanist, uh, who we also have the privilege to work with here. And there's a strong interaction between the basic scientists and the clinical researchers, and I uh, helped to front up the osteoarthritis research group uh, Manuela, who you'll hear about the wonderful back pain work that she's doing, runs a wonderful back pain clinical research program. And Lynn, I was obviously doing much more in the inflammatory disease space. And as importantly, we're trying to commercialize what we do so that that will be, make its way into clinical practice and be available to many of you as, uh, as um, care for people in the community. Um, just to give you a sense of our product from a, from a research standpoint, in 2016, we put out 100 papers, hosted 12 seminars, and trained more than 20 postgraduate students. So it's, it's a powerhouse, both in terms of intellectual productivity. We've gained a lot from funding, both in terms of category one funding, as you can see listed there, uh, grateful patients that have made things like uh, the biobank possible, in addition to private sector support. We do work closely with the hospital, and so there's strong interactions between the researchers and the clinicians, particularly around uh, osteoth osteoarthritis, osteoporosis, and back pain. Um, we work closely with a number of collaborative groups, some of whom are listed there, uh, both other faculties, but also internationally. And we very importantly try to translate what we're doing into clinical care to make a difference to the lives of many who live with musculoskeletal disease. So we do this all under the umbrella of obviously the Northern Sydney Local Health District and the Colling. Um, and as one of the leading research institutes here, we're focused on bone and joint disease. And our vision is bone and joint health for all, and ultimately to develop cures for the many people who are disabled by these diseases. Um, we blend 
clinical research, basic science research, clinical expertise, and education. And we try to do that in many different areas, including injury, trauma, back pain, osteoporosis, osteoarthritis. I can't read the small font, but there's lots of other, <laughs> there's lots of other font there that's on that slide, but I'm sure you can probably read that there. Um, but it's really important for you to understand we are trying as best we can to translate the findings that we do, whether they're basic science, clinical research, into the living laboratory that is the hospital and back uh, direct much of the knowledge that we gain. We try to do that in a, a cross-disciplinary way where we blend expertise in clinical research, clinical expertise, education, basic science, and have a strong consumer voice. And we're really privileged to have one of our consumers, Tom, who will tell you all about his experience in, in both uh, seeking care here, but also working with us as a clinical research group. Um, and without further ado, I might just introduce Robin Ward, who's our executive dean. Uh, thank you very much for coming along. Um, we're about 100 people. Many of us are postgraduate students. There's a strong predominance also of postdoctoral researchers and senior, senior leaders. And in any one year, we typically will have about 20 to 25 postgraduate students and graduate five to six. Um, most of our funding comes from a combination of Category 1 funding, and in any one year, typically it's in the order of about $5 million a year. And you can see the figures there for 2013 and 2014, and that goes directly towards supporting the research that's conducted in the Institute. <laughs> it's there. Um, we do a lot of education, both uh, for uh, researchers, clinicians, and patients. Uh, we run regular seminars that are held uh, every two to three weeks here at the Institute of Bone and Joint Research where we attract a transdisciplinary, multidisciplinary group uh, to better inform them about musculoskeletal disease and the work that's, that's going on. Um, I'm sure it's not a battery issue. <laughs> uh, we, we have regular awards to help to support the younger researchers in our group, particularly the early career researchers, awards around both manuscripts and travel award. And every year we also... Uh, sponsor a uh, PhD student. If I press the wrong button, I apologize. Um, we host international guests, and we've been very fortunate this year to have two world-leading luminaries in, in the like of Nigel Arden and Stefan Lomander, who spent uh, weeks here with us uh, helping to develop and foster the early career researchers that work within our groups and fostering new collaborations as well. We have a strong social media presence. So for anybody who's particularly interested in social media, we have a Facebook and a Twitter presence. You're smiling because I'm sure you have a strong social media presence. But if you want to learn more about what we do, uh, that's out there. And we also run regular webinars to help inform consumers out there with musculoskeletal diseases. Um, but most importantly, I want to thank the wonderful team at the Institute of Bone and Joint Research Group that I'm out here standing telling you about the wonderful work that they do. Um, it's only by virtue of the work that, that, we, that we do that hopefully will make a difference uh, to the lives of many people out there who I know many of you that represent that have musculoskeletal disease. So I want to thank you very much for your time. Um, and again, dream big. Uh, there's many of you out there that have musculoskeletal disease. It's only by virtue of the weird, wild dreams that we have that hopefully will make a difference to the lives that you live. Um, Without further ado, I'm going to hand this magical little device <laughs> <laughs> off to Professor Manuela Ferreira, who's a very...